the first three movies of the week were all direct adaptations. And then, an, uh, so four of my books were adapted into the show, but mostly they just took the main characters, especially Murdoch, of course, and have created stories around that. So there's a team of writers, there are six writers who work on it, and it just, it just grows and grows like Topsy or something. So, uh, but we have a great relationship, so we talk about the scripts. And uh, I've co-written three, and this year I wrote one on my own, which was a, an adaptation from a short story that I wrote. So that was fun. That was sort of going back to my Murdoch, as I sometimes refer to him as. So, except on TV, he's a bit more straight-laced, because in my books he has a beer and he has a smoke. And <laughs> not a show. Well, I think I can say honestly I did about three years of work before the very first Murdoch book because that was ver laying the foundation of the time period in Toronto. Then a little less, but each book has something very specific about it. So I have to do quite a bit of work around whatever that is, you know, like uh, uh, women's rights or insanity, which was in book four and things like that. So. There's always research to do, and in the new series, I went back to 1940s, and there's been tons and tons of work to do, but even saying work isn't right, it's such fun. I could just do that all the time, and then I said, wait a minute, I think I have to write a book here, you know, but I like that part a lot. It's very interesting. But by the time I've done all the preambles, and then I get down to it, and it's edited and so on, a year I'd say, yeah, at least, sometimes longer. When I was about four, <laughs> no, but didn't ever take it seriously because I grew up in England and I never ever knew anybody who was a writer. I just knew books, I read tons of books. So it was a very natural thing to gravitate much later into that world as I saw it, to say, okay, I've loved books all of my life. Maybe I could cross over and, and write something. But that was, well, I did two, did some poetry. A surprising number of crime writers write poetry. I'm not sure why, but we do. So I wrote poetry and then I wrote two plays, which were very, very, very helpful, both mystery plays. And then I launched into the novels, and the, that was, uh, the first one wasn't published till 97, 1997, and it's been pretty steady ever since. So that's what I do all the time now. I, that's my job, my, my full-time job, which it wasn't before. Well, it's a police procedural as well, because that's what I know best. Um, it's set in England during World War II, starts in 1940, in 1940, right after Dunkirk, and the current book is 42. And so I've been just soaking up, and it's not a battlefront story, they're right there, like Foyle's War. Uh, they, it all takes place on the home front. So I'm trying to really capture the feeling of the time. Again, and so against that backdrop, I have the police procedure. There's a crime and he's still a policeman and he has to solve that crime. The fourth book I am right in the middle of, uh, and that's really been very interesting. I hope to tell that story tonight about how that came about, because it was one of the most exciting conceptions I've ever had, really. So, so that has been really fun. <laughs>